If you get a text message or an email with the following sort of screens showing up, you have to immediately, immediately act, call customer service and say, hey, someone is in my account. Here, for example, your email address was changed. Hang on, I never changed my email address. The email address on your Uber account was recently changed to blah, 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 or from this to that, right? You can immediately see that someone is in there doing shenanigans. Or, oh, oh, there's a new device sign in. It looks like your Uber account was used to sign in on a new device. Please review the details below to confirm if it was you, right? And here they show where it came in, sign in. Hang on, I'm not in New York City, I'm in Miami. So second indicator, there is something going on. This is definitely not me, this is someone else. I need to act. Which if you can, you know, sh sh shut, sh uh, get in there, uh, your, 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 your passwords probably compromised, they're inside already. You might not even be able to log in anymore too late, but you have to immediately, immediately alert customer service. The sad thing is by the time customer service is, hello, I'm here over in uh, the Philippines or in India, how can I help you? Ages later, probably all your freaking money has been removed. Or this one here, another one, your phone number has been updated. Hold on one second. I don't have any phone that ends with these four digits. Something's going on, right? Hey, your phone number has been updated too. That's not me. So let's go through them again. Your phone number has been updated. There is a new device sign in from some other freaking city out there. Nah, not me. Or hey, your email was changed too. All indicators that you need to take action immediately. The first thing I would do is try and log into your account. Can I get into the account? Is this personally doing it right now? Right, you just got the alert. You just got the email notification. You just got the new device sign in. Can I get in there or am I still in? And while the person's, you know, trying to change things, you know, can I stop him? Can I log out? Can I write there and then start changing my password? Can I beat him or her to it? The fraudster, wherever they are. I mean, it's a shitty feeling, right? And, and sa sadly, sadly, customer service is lagging behind. And, and too often, I'd say 90% of the time, your money is gone. And once that 800 has been wired out of your account, once that 600 has been wired out your account, oh my God, how difficult it is to get A, your account back up again so you can start making money. And, he, and, and can I actually get that money back? Next thing would be, hey, you're contacting your bank, right? You're contacting your bank. And do they have your credit card? Do they have other information? This year, more looks like they're entering your account, they're changing your information, they're changing the banking details. They just literally want to transfer the earnings out. And this could very well happen or frequently happens on the last day before, let's say, pay payout on a Monday. Um, you know, whatever the time is. I don't, I don't know exactly know at what time they transfer the monies, but this will most likely uh, happen when you have maximized your earnings, your peak earnings up on a Sunday and you've accumulated $1,200, boom, this happens. I'll guarantee you this happens at least 80% more likelihood than like, oh, just after a day, just after Monday or Tuesday's earnings, you know, when you have $150 in your account. These guys are shrewd. These guys are ruthless. They know how to scam. They are professional scammers. So be one step ahead of them see what's coming your way and act or sometimes it's react please be careful and and share info is there anything else you can share on the scamming um schemes that are out there is there anything else you can share that'll warn even veterans and newbies right that are coming to the party and you have good information oh i've seen this take place or you know the companies don't call you 
right? The, the companies don't call you and ask for specific account information. That, then you already know, red flag, red flag, something's going on. Somebody's trying to steal my money. Stop them in their tracks. Your comments, please.